it's a final resting place for Japan's lost dead. Dozens of burial urns lie unclaimed, stored in a cave near Tokyo. They're victims of an aging society struggling to care for its dead. Across Japan, it's a pattern that's being repeated a thousand times over. The cave in the city of Yokosuka is now full, and officials have started storing ashes at the city office. These bones are warning those of us who are still alive that we are poorly prepared. In the past, most of these unclaimed burial urns contained the ashes of people the government hadn't been able to identify. However, that's changing and there's no easy fix. Local officials are cremating the remains of deceased people and storing them at public expense. They're trying to contact relatives, but sometimes when they track them down, families say they don't want anything to do with the person or say it's not their responsibility. It points to a wider change. Most of them used to be unidentified people, but now more than 95% are traceable. Japan is aging faster than any other country in the world. At the same time, the population is shrinking, meaning that there are fewer people to care for the elderly. And social safety nets are starting to disappear. Families are scattered, with young people moving to cities, stretching family ties. Experts say that poverty also plays a role with many of Japan's elderly living on welfare and able to pay for their own funerals, which can cost more than $17,000. In some places, the government is stepping in. The city of Yokosuka is offering residents a funeral plan covering most of the cost of cremation and burial. 80-year-old Sumitaka Horiguchi has no children of his own and had worried about what would become of his remains. But he signed up for a plan that guarantees him a spot at a local temple. He says he finally feels at peace.